Diyos. But then again, uh, you know your contribution to mankind. Hindi lang society, mankind na talaga. And um, you should be proud of yourselves. Congratulations. Well, thank you sa Red Cross. Uh, I would not be here if not for your help. Over the last four years, I, I really experienced um, needs, no? intense needs for assistance from the Red Cross um, because of three, the three men in my life, my father, Oscar Moreno, he was also an actor, um, my son, Joey, and uh, my husband, Pete, when I had to call up the Red Cross, especially when his platelet uh, count was um, going lower and lower when he, when he needed bags of blood and the Red Cross was always there to help. Uh, para po sa mga bumubuo ng Red Cross, from the chairman of the board, Senator Dick Gordon, down to the governors, down to Tita Rose, of course, uh, to the management, uh, headed now by Cora De Leon, Secretary General, uh, the other members of management, the staff, and the tireless volunteers, to all of you who work very, very quietly, very, very self-effacingly, and um, who are first to come to the rescue whenever needed. I hope that uh, the Red Cross blood will continue to flow in your veins. Um, to all the men and women of Red Cross, I hope you will continue your good work. And uh, it's satisfying for your job because there are so many people who are helping you. It's hard to help everyone from all walks of life. Um, to the Red Cross, thank you very much. I personally want to thank all of you on behalf of my family. Um, you have helped Dolphy and Vandolph, and um, hopefully our family won't need any more blood. But you know, I, we can't tell uh, what's in store for everyone, but uh, um, I feel safe that you are here um, to protect all of us. So thank you very much. The Red Cross also helps restore and rebuild important structures destroyed during disasters or wars. Anang Red Cross, hanggang po sa na nakalipat kabe sa barangay Loog. Hanggang dito po ay tinulungan pa rin po kami ng Red Cross. Nagpapasalamat po kami sa Red Cross kundi dahil po sa kanila ay Hindi po kami magkakabahay kami pong pamilya. Even apparently impossible situations and problems that seemingly defy solutions become opportunities for the Red Cross to shine the light of humanity and charity. This was found out by Leticia del Rosario when her husband Romulo had a heart attack while they were traveling by plane from Europe to Hong Kong, Romulo del Rosario had a heart attack during the flight. Russia, where the elderly couple was forced to stay for three weeks while Romulo was nearly comatose. Unfortunately, and much to Leticia's surprise, the Philippines Department of Foreign Affairs was limited to helping only overseas Filipino workers. Being tourists, the Del Rosarios received little help from the government. The couple needed 7 million pesos to rent an ambulance plane to bring back Romulo to the Philippines. It was only through the aid of the Philippine National Red Cross, led by Senator and PNRC Chairman Richard Gordon, that the Del Rosarios were able to return to the country. Romulo was taken directly to the Philippine General Hospital. Ang unang-una, nagpapasalamat ako kay Senator Gordon at ang staff ng Red Cross sa pagtulong nila sa amin. Dahil kung hindi sa tulong niyo, hindi maiuwi ang asawa ko dito. Dahil malaking financial ang kailangan, hindi namin kaya yung ganong kalaki, kaya humingi kami ng tulong. Sinagot naman ni Senator Gordon, kaya hindi hindi namin makakalimutan yung ginawa ni Senator at ang staff ng Red Cross. Nagpapasalamat ako ng maraming maraming salamat talaga.
The decades-long war in southern Philippines has senselessly killed combatants and civilians, leaving children orphaned and families ripped apart. The entire Filipino nation suffers from this war's effects, including the loss of people's livelihoods and the overall impact on the economy. In Holosulu, the Red Cross even helps support farmers who are left with rotting produce due to the chaos of war. Unable to transport and sell their harvest, they are left to decay and diffuse and disuse, amounting to nothing and destroying potential income. The Philippine Red Cross fearlessly entered the fray deep in war-ravaged Holo just to help transport and sell the affected farmers' produce in Metro Manila. That brave, selfless effort amounted to saving lives of entire families and represent the fruits of hope. has maintained its reputation for dedicated humanitarian services, making it the leading organization of its kind in the country. The challenge for the years has been to increasingly become more focused, becoming faster, friendlier, flexible, and forward-looking. The Philippine Red Cross is committed to stay by your side, in the greatest darkness, in the hour of your most dire need. To tirelessly, selflessly, and without fear help you through the most fearful hardships and give you hope for the future. Support to build a new life and new strength to start over and help others as well throughout the Philippines and the world.